What's going on? Today's video, I'm gonna help you relieve some of your chest dysphoria. This video is mostly for FTM, transmasculine people, but honestly, anybody who experiences chest dysphoria, I want to help relieve you with just a little bit of that dysphoria. So today we're gonna talk about the actual pec itself, the pectoral muscles, what they look like, their functionality. Then we're gonna go over my top workout and what I think actually forms that chest that so many of us desire. We're gonna talk about the exercise to do in the gym and we're gonna talk about the exercise to do at home. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to talk about the pecs, okay? So I get compliments on my pecs, thank you. I worked hard, I worked way before top surgery and I still work now, so I appreciate it. But I also wanna say that genetically, everybody's chest is going to look different, okay? So with that though, I wanna talk about what I really think people mean when they say, you have a nice chest. This is the part of my chest I think they really mean. This part right here, this swoop right here. Now there's other parts that make the chest look really nice, but I really think that this is the swoop, I'm looking up here, this is the swoop that I really think people crave, okay? And for those who are looking to get top surgery or have top surgery, not all of us, but some of us will have, the, uh, will have our scars lying right underneath. You can kind of see mine start underneath and then kind of come up, right? So. What I wanna do first, before we actually talk about the exercise for at the gym and at home, is I wanna talk about the functionality of the chest, okay? So pushing and flies, okay? So I want you to visualize your pec like this. You have tons and tons of muscle fibers. So I want you to picture muscle fibers that go from here over here, okay? So kinda of like all these millions of fibers, they, they attach in here and they go across across some go like this and they all go into here okay some of them go way deep in here so this part okay this part is actually a part of your chest and so the thing that i discovered that really gives you that swoop are flies that's what i have noticed has really helps with that swoop so i want you to focus on your flies okay so even if all you did was go into the gym and this was your only chest exercise, I really think it would still matter. Now I'm going to suggest to do other exercises, but for me actually what works best is when I do a fly exercise and then a push exercise, a fly exercise and then a push exercise. Yeah, let's just, let's go, let's do that. So this is for everybody at the gym. If you are not, don't have access to a gym right now, then I want you to just check down below in the description box and we'll have a timestamp as to the at-home workout. So you can just skip on over to that or you can watch this and maybe learn some more stuff too. So what I have here is an at-home cable. So it's literally just the same type of thing that you have at a cable at the gym, okay? And so you load the, pl the plates right down here and you have a pulley from up high and a pulley from down below. This is what I would consider a high fly. That's because I'm coming from up high, okay? And I'm pulling the weight down, okay? Now, the thing is, is I don't have a handle here, so you'll see me gripping it kind of, kind of funky, but it's the same motion if you had a handle. So, the other thing I want you to pay attention to is your wingspan, okay? So like how high up you can go comfortably and still have control of the weight because that's really gonna help that really letting the, the weight really pull those fibers there. That's why I want you to think about the fibers because you wanna think of all of them contracting and then think of them stretching out, stretching, stretching until it starts to feel good. You don't want it to feel uncomfortable. Too high and you're gonna be like, oh, you're gonna hurt yourself, okay? So nice, still have control, but you feel a nice stretch and then you go in and squeeze and squeeze like that. So you do the same concept on the other side. That's it. I feel like that is the one of the biggest keys to a nice rounded chest like that. Now, if you do the same thing and you come from below with the cable, I don't actually have any weight on here now, but if you came from below and did the same concept, okay, it's gonna work the lower part here. So there's really two exercises right there, boom. So it's, that's it, that's it. That cable fly, you can do them together too, 
but up high, I mean, it's just gonna really get into everything in here, really give you that swoop that so many of us are looking for. All right, so you're at home, and besides normal push-ups, like push-ups, I'll drop a little a link below. There's a whole chest workout you can do there. But if there's one thing, again, that's going to really help with that chest, that swoop, that I, I really feel like is one of the biggest keys to what we're trying to get to look at our chest and just feel more connected to who we really truly are and relieve some of that body dysphoria is going to be this specific exercise. All right, so what I wanna focus most on is going to be the wide push-up, okay? Now, there's two different ways to do this. I have a long table right here. The main thing you wanna do is make sure it's stable, so let's not kill ourselves. And you wanna do a wide push-up. Now, I'm actually doing this incline. You would do this on the floor, but if you can't do a push-up yet, Doing this in an incline would be a lot better. Incline meaning your feet are down here and your hands are up here, okay? So I'm doing this at an incline. See how my feet are down here? I am have my hands really wide and I'm gonna go down and stretch really as much as I can. Like my chest is literally just hitting this and then up and squeeze. All the way down, up and squeeze. I would hold it there. Now the pressure should be on your palm. So the pressure should be mostly right here, okay? That's where you want that pressure to be. So as wide as I can go, like that. Now, the other thing I wanna suggest is if you can, if you have a table like this where it's short, you can put your hands on each end, okay? Like this, each end. And you can do a function of a fly. So you would start here and you go down and then you would kind of try to press up So another reason we talked about the fibers is that in order to hit each different part, you work your chest, you hit them all. You know, if you do a fly, you're hitting more in here, right? If you do a decline press, you're hitting more down here. If you do a squeeze in the middle here, you're hitting more on the middle, in the inside. So that's it. Those are my tips. That's my trick. That's what I focus on so much is flies. I just do flies and flies and flies. I literally do a fly and then a chest press, a fly and then a decline, a fly and then an incline. That's my workout. Most people I talk to as well, I mean flies are where it's at. Like flies are the definition where you get that structure of the muscle, the sculpting of it. And I feel like pressing is strength and totally worth it. Um, but again, if I had to give you one exercise and you can go into the gym and do this one thing, it would be flies. That's my advice. I hope that you liked it. If you want to hear more about chests, if you want to hear more exercises, if you want a hole at gym, if you want a hole at, at home, let me know in the comment section below. I actually, I, I do have an at home workout. No equipment needed. You just go in the description box. I'll put that chest below. But yeah, if you want to hear more about this, if you want another muscle group top tip, um, let me know below. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.